Yes, everybody, welcome back to the Irish Hotspur. And as you know, Twitter reacts time, and it feels good to have one right after a smashing 4 0 win over Everton. And it's a win that Spurs fans deserve. It's one that definitely we were looking forward to. I'm not sure if everyone expected it to be that convincing or that much of a, a heavy score line, but we will certainly take it. Hopefully, you got a good meal, got maybe some beers in, had a nice ice cold Coca Cola with a lemon David Harris style. But Twitter reacts time, Dave. Let's get straight into it. Please, everybody, smash that like button. Get your comments in. But, Dave, any uh, words before we get this started? Look, great performance. Uh, great start to the game. Total 90 minutes domination. And this is where Spurs fans are allowed to get carried away. And this is where we're at our best. Let's get into it, Jack. Let's get into it, indeed. And India certainly has a, definitely a strong <laughs> sense of humor with this one saying, Yves Basuma, you deserve this in the change of gear to halftime, <laughs> certainly for a banger like that one. Uh, he definitely does. He'd love to see that from Yves Basuma. And uh, I think we're all going to definitely see some uh, some of the balloon jokes throughout this Twitter react. So do prepare yourselves for that in case you're a little sensitive to it. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce the, uh, the username there, but she's saying, hang it in the Louvre. And if you can tell there, that is Sonny taking it around Pickford after just robbing him of his dinner, of his lunch money. It was just a kind of like a sad thing for Pickford, really. He had the touch of a truck and Sonny just belting, you know, after him. He was like a like a hyena, you know, chasing after something or like a like a cheetah, you know, Sonny was. And Dave, I mean, Jordan Pickford, he's still looking for him to this day. Yeah, he's still swiping that fresh air jacket. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but you know what? Someone like him deserved that moment. The way he was giving it the big and what was it against Slovenia or Slovakia in the Euros? You know, I never really forgave him for that. And I'm absolutely delighted Son could get my retribution. Yeah. And uh, Sonny, again, is going to be the theme of some of these. And this is nice to see Sonny showing props and showing some love to his fellow winger, Odebear. And he's probably also doing it because he's relieved to see that he actually has another competent winger on the other side that maybe he can play with against Newcastle. I mean, Dave, Odebear's performance, I, it was, I think, a solid debut. You'd have to give it that. No, it was an absolute brilliant debut. I think Martin Knightsbridge in the uh, fan cam summed it up the best refreshing and get you off your seat, you know, and that's all you ask for for some of your wide men. And you're absolutely right. Son's probably clinging on to him tight. He's like, thank God someone else at my level and someone else that can do what I do. So it takes attention away from me. It makes me even better. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And as much as I love Sonny as well, like I think Odebear has that sort of young freshness about the way that he plays uh, as well, which is just nice to see. And uh, it sort of reminds you of like a young Sonny in a way where he's just vibrant, you know, active, just really trying to make things happen mm -hmm. and looked really hungry in his debut. And that's all you can ask for from a young kid still like Odebear, the guy's right, only 19 years of age and just an impressive performance from him. Uh, Cho saying, I mean, this finish is just unreal. Dave and I were certainly showing it some praise because I think the way you described it, Dave, I mean, why not describe kind of why that is a harder finish than some people might realize? Well, look, we've seen many players in them situations, but usually when the keeper comes rushing out like that, they try to, they lift the shot. And it's absolutely impossible when the keeper's coming out like that and the defender's getting back to the goal. And the reason why I get special attention on the watch along is because it's the only finish he could have low along the ground between the keeper's legs to put it in the back of the net. And he took that option. Absolutely unbelievable from Son. Clinical, but also in the speed, in the split second decision making you have to get that touch, to think of that's the only finish you have and then execute it is absolutely world class. And um, also embarrassing Pickford twice, may I add, with both of his goals, embarrassing him with that finish through the legs and also, of course, stealing his lunch money on the on the first goal as well. Um, Neo saying there are, only, there are 206 bones in the human body, 207 when you're watching Ange Ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's throwing it back to that great <laughs> Crystal Palace goal from the lovely Brendan Johnson header here to the finish uh, from the likes of Sonny. And uh, Ange Ball, when it is flowing, I mean, it's just entertainment for 90 minutes. It really is. I absolutely agree with Neo there. Definitely, it's definitely stiffy material for sure. <laughs> Micah saying two reasons people must hate Romero. He plays for Tottenham. He's just too good. It's just jealousy, isn't it, Micah? And he's by far one of my favorite defenders to ever worn the shirt, if not my favorite defender to have ever worn the shirt. He is, in my belief, the reincarnation of a Sergio Ramos. And it's lovely that he plays for Spurs. Lovely that he loves Spurs, clearly. He's a guy that has won things already with Argentina, but he does have, be compared to a different Argentinian player like a Lacelso, he seems to really have a love for this club and has a passion for it as well that you just 
you know, it's good to see. And Romero's just a special player, and people are just jealous at this point. No, great performance from Romero. He owed us after drop two points drop last week, which was That's his true. fault. But he really stepped up today. He was a massive part of the reason why we got the clean sheet with the last ditch defending. Of course, up there with his Romy, uh, with his Rom bomb, uh, Mr. Rombastic at this point, Jack. Absolutely beautiful goal. But one thing he didn't get enough praise for so far, what I've seen is them balls he was playing over the top for the likes of Madison. Mm -hmm. He'd done it twice. I think he tried to play a couple for Kulu as well. Absolutely brilliant from Romero. And like we've been saying all along on this channel, Jack, we are so lucky to have this guy. I don't think I actually showed him enough praise for some of those balls over the top that you're mentioning. I probably would have if maybe Madison put away one of those chances. But at one point, I criticized Romero's playing out from the back, and I should have shown it a bit more praise because it did start to really – uh, you know, show that skill that he has. He doesn't play, you know, the easy sideways pass, especially, you know, in the last game against Leicester City where he was a bit guilty of that. And that was very un-Romero-like. You know, the one that we saw today was far more the Romero that we know, far more the Romero that we're familiar with. That guy who plays line-breaking passes that can create chances from the back line. He isn't just an incredible defender defensively. He is very good in possession on his day, Romero. And he showed that today and uh, definitely was reminding people of what he can do. Great points. Yeah. Tottenham Hotspur saying, rumor has it that Mickey is still running. <laughs> Roadrunner, meet me. <laughs> and it's similar to the Wanyama, right? You know, rumor has it that it's still in the air, just like Basuma's goal. Lots of things that are still going. Pickford's still swiping to this day uh, to, to, to Mickey Ben Event still running. So many things continuing to happen. TEH Trunk saying Kulusevsky absolutely bossing us, by the way. Somebody whose performance, you could say, went under the radar a little bit because there were so many good performances that maybe Kulusevsky's did go under, uh, under the radar slightly. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. I mean, that assist for um, Basuma's goal was absolutely world-class. The footwork, the speed of the footwork, the intelligence, you know, to put all that into split-second decision-making is absolutely unbelievable. Not only that, defensively, he got in there, mucked in, you know, picked up a couple of free kicks for us, turned over the ball, but also feeding others all day long. He was absolutely superb, Kulazeski. Shame he didn't get a goal, maybe, to cap off the performance because it deserved it. And he's continuing it over from preseason the Kulisewski redemption arc is real Jack and um, next week we might have to find an apology form from somewhere on Twitter and uh, present it to people John McKenzie saying I wonder if Everton will find joy playing channel balls and behind Mickey Van Ven <laughs> probably should keep trying it just to find out it's definitely uh, <laughs> not really the best of strategies which really disappointed me about the Leicester City game because Patty Power had a great meme it's just so unfortunate that Leicester City got the equalizer but Patty Power <laughs> put out a great one um when it came to Steve Cooper asking Jamie Vardy to chase down these long balls and it was that meme of the guy going like what you just want me to chase after them <laughs> like you know the guy who's crying yeah. in the car it was such a great meme um <laughs> it's just I wish that we got the result because yeah it just uh, I think it's a very similar joke here made by John McKenzie um, this is a great post as well. Consa Sao, of course, with that iconic celebration, you know, with his final year at Porto. We got a sunny brace today, an Odebear debut, Romero goal, Basuma goal, a clean sheet, first home win of the season. I think this might make the thumbnail. This is just a yeah. classic summary. And I think that Consa Sao meme is just, it's, this is how Dave looks, to be honest, you know, after wins like this. Just yeah. so classy. It's just so funny from him. And, uh, that's, me when, that's me when the cameras are off, Jack, and we've won 4 and I'm, <laughs> I'm quite concerned, though. Uh, I mean, he's dry humping fresh air, which is a bit, uh, you know, a bit odd. But and he's champagne <laughs> stained, you know, he's drenched in, you know, the champagne in the super box. It's just, uh, it's, it's a classic. The that's the feelings a good win can give you, you know. Uh, I want to see how they celebrate in Portugal, you know, these wins. Uh, <laughs> definitely my head down there. Luca M just showing uh, our two talents right there, Oda Bear and Lucas Bergval. Bergval clearly impressed by Oda Bear's performance. And I must say, like, Oda Bear, really, just the hair, you know, the hair to the, you know, the teeth to everything. He just looks great in a lily white shirt. Both of them do. They just look like just real star players. Uh, Dave, I think you might enjoy this one. Ron saying, if you switched up on Sun Hung Min, stay on that side. See, everybody stay on that side when they switched up. You switched up, stay on that side, man. Number over here. Memphis, yeah, you know what happened after every dub. So, one, two, on that. Big Memphis.
Some oh, people just absolutely. don't want to hear it, you know, when it comes to Sonny. After they see Sonny answer to them like that, they just want to say, you know what, stay on that side. You pick that side. Look, that's why, you know, I think Son came in for a lot of unfair scrutiny, scrutiny and criticism after the Leicester game, considering for me, he was one of the only four players, you know, tr actually trying to break down the door and batter it down. And he, it was almost like a one-man crusade that night, where, you know, and I think he got a lot of un unfair criticism off the back of it. But look, Jack, that's why you don't go over the top on some because he's going to prove you wrong. Yeah, and he has done before with plenty of people. That's for sure. Very good point. Everton are the funniest team in the world. They either give us one of the toughest games of the season or we absolutely batter them. Yeah. There's no in between. I'd argue Sean Dyche is a bit that way where he has haunted us the past Sean Dyche with some really good, you know, kind of just awful performances from ourselves. And then he takes advantage of it and ends up, you know, making us really you have to dissect, you know, some really bad ones. But then also I do remember we have given maybe him and some of his team's hidings as well, like in the past. It's a, it's one or the other, it feels like. And Everton do seem to be one of those clubs as well where we just get a really great performance or we can actually end up feeling a bit embarrassed afterwards. And perhaps that's just how football works sometimes. So, no, uh, Luca THFC saying a sunny brace, Van de Van generational assist after surviving an injury, Romero goal, Bis goal, Madison and Kulu assists, a clean sheet, Mopai and Pickford absolutely rattled, <laughs> Solanke rested for the Newcastle game, Tottenham 4 0 win. What a day. And um, this is probably what I look like maybe after games like this, you know, go over, do my nice classical, you know, uh, beers in, you know, start doing the dancing. This is just exactly what you should be doing, Spurs fans, after a win like that one. I can imagine you being more stole called Steve Austin, Jack, crashing the cans <laughs> together. <laughs> Simon Dumain saying, I know it's only been half a game, but I think you can already tell. Oda Bear should start most games from now on. Right wing, left wing, I don't care. The threat he poses makes a, such a difference. He just offers something different, and I think that's what Ange Postacoglu pretty much alluded to as well with uh, yeah, what he brings. You know, He's just such a dynamic player, this guy, Oda Bear. Um, and then also Simon Yamane pointing out that Spurs fans have been going on and on about those first 10 matches under Ange. This performance is the closest thing we have come to that level, in my opinion. Very encouraging. Would you argue that, Dave? Kind of kind of throwing yourself back to some of those great performances in that first 10 matches of the season. Look, there was some great performances in them first 10 games of the season, but if people actually go back and look at it, we got away with some of them. I think Man United had something like 18 shots on our goal and stuff, and we ended up taking points off them and that. So there was a bit of luck involved in that run. However, I would argue this is the best I've seen Tottenham ever under Ange Postecoglou, a full 90-minute dominant performance yeah. like that. Um, and hopefully, long may it continue, uh, Simon. And uh, Hotspur-related captain Sun Hung Min is now the 20th all-time top scorer in Premier League history with 122 goals. That one is very impressive. I still find one of the most impressive ones is that he is, I think, top five, right? Top six all-time Spurs scorers, and he's the only non-UK international, I believe, inside that top 10 as You're well. The only winger, that's maybe even more impressive than him being the only non-UK player to be inside the top six. It's just, he is a one-of-a-kind player, and there's a reason why, you know, we should be keeping him, in my opinion. This guy is an absolute legend of this football club, regardless of the generation you are from or whether you're a young Spurs fan or an older Spurs fan. This guy has to be in one of the best lists of players that you've seen play for this football club, simply as. And uh, Luca Cic, I've seen St. Romero goal in his 100th game and Madison assist two games in a row. <laughs> You're cool, everybody. Dave and I simply can't. We can't be Ancelotti. Sadly, we're more like Conce Sal <laughs> after the yeah, game. We can't, yeah. do the, we can't do the Ancelotti. We don't have that class. Um, Axel saying for this one. <laughs> three points scored, four goals. Sun Braves, Romero goal, scored from a corner. Smicky assist, clean sheet. We're eating good tonight, baby. Dave? Let him know what he having. Oh, look, I've gone for the Indian tonight, Jack. You know, 4 0 win. I'm going to double up. I'm going to go double carb, rice and chips. Actually, might go triple carb, a bit of cheese naan on the sign with my chicken korma, Jack. It's got to be done. 4 0 win. I deserve it. There you go. Micah saying form is temporary, class is permanent. Mm -hmm. That is exactly right, Micah. And that's our Sonny. Simon Yamane saying Basuma took revenge on himself for the badge. Fair play. What a boss picture right there as well boss Zuma. and i loved every one of his celebrations he did every single thing you could have needed did the mentality monster celebration 
bowed to the Spurs fans, ran to the manager. I can't even believe he did that all in the time required before the ball was even kicked off after that opening goal. Impressive from Basuma. Then here's also, actually... Yeah, just yeah. quickly, I would add, hopefully he doesn't celebrate it with what he done to get suspended. So hopefully, you know, someone needs to babysit Basuma now for the next 24 hours. And if you want a bit of a view from uh, Spurs web here for the goal from Basuma, here's the absolute bosh from him here. Just as we know, I think Kulusevsky sets him up here and it's in the back of the net. And look at the fans as well, just going nuts over there in the corner. And it's just bouncing around just what Spurs fans love to see. Exactly what we love as as this fan base. You know, it's just what we're all about. Carly T saying being best friends with Sonny means you don't age either. <laughs> he hasn't changed. He's probably giving them the right creams and, and products. Yeah, probably. Yeah, would make sense. Billy saying, he's still here and got he's all, he's got recognition for ten years or so for that Tottenham. Billy saying we're winning the lot, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when Billy was going to pop up. <laughs> he's enjoying some time in Spain, but you know he still was able to watch the game. Simon Yunane saying brace from his finished slash washed player today. Yeah, what a coincidence that Sonny ends up responding so quickly like that, Simon. Prosper saying, good debut from Oda Bear. Ran out of gas a bit at the end there, but he's got it. I think that's, I think, something that will also come with being only a 19-year-old. You know, you are not going to probably be that match fit for Ange Ball. That's also, yeah, there's a few different things. 19 might not be match fit for Ange Ball to be able to play at that sustained level of energy for an extended period of time, but I thought he played very, very well in that first half. He was one of my favorite players in that first half. He did everything we've been looking for. No, he was absolutely brilliant. And for me, I just love it how he manipulates the ball, you know, plucking some of them switch plays out to him straight out the air. You know, absolute uh, cotton, uh, sorry, um, pillows, pillows for feet, you know, cushions for feet, taking the ball down the way. It just sits on it and falls. It's absolutely gorgeous to watch. Naturally gifted, a very impressive debut and probably one of the best I've seen from any of the new signings we've made recently. Well, everybody, again, we need to know those French pillow companies. Get those in the comments, please, everybody. Tottenham Hotspur maybe saying this should be hanging the Louvre as well. It's a, it's a great mm. picture of Kulisevsky. And also just looking at Abdoulaye Dekoure just chasing back after him, you know, as, uh, as quickly as he can. Yeah. Spurs Express uh, bringing up one of Andrew's quotes on Odebert's debut. Exciting. He gives us something different from our other wingers. Well, everybody, I told you that that quote was going to come up at some point. Pedro Poro saying big win back at home. No better feeling than that. I love Pedro's posts after the end of games. And he's accountable, whether it's a bad result or a good result. Pedro's always posted. Yeah, he's my postman. Like I said, Jack, I think he's missing a trick. You know, when he does stuff, it should be hashtag porography, you know, after it. So I need to get in contact with him. Thanks for reminding me. Carly T saying, contemplating your next tweet at Neil Mopai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, do you know what? He, he shouldn't be on the Peter Crouch podcast. He should be focusing on trying to get in the Everton team. What is it, 14 injuries and he couldn't even get into the team? Embarrassing. And just got to get back to Brentford, I guess. Uh, Simon saying Romero should have ended this game with one goal and two assists. He's our center back. We and he move differently. <laughs> Great from Simon. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you wanted to go and watch that compilation, you certainly can over on uh, Simon's page. Billy saying balloons for Basuma. <laughs> That's the kid. Jeez. And uh, on THFC saying Basuma before balloons, zero goals in 56 games. Basuma after balloons, one goal in one game. Keep doing balloons, pal. Some people really do have a, a crazy sense of humor. And then Simon Yamane posting about Van de Ven's goal. Tell me another center back in the world who makes this run. I'll wait. Van de Ven is genuinely one of the most underrated center backs in football. I don't even know if he's underrated at this point. I think people are well aware that this guy is pretty much world-class. Mm. And if they don't this season, he'll be on everybody's radar. And like I've always said, if this guy can become an absolute colossus in the air, we've got the best centre-back in world football. He can do it all. Yeah. No weakness. Well, Spurs fans, thank you. It's been a pleasure. You always crack me up. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for supporting the Twitter Reacts. If you can for us, smash the like button. We're shooting this straight after the game. Also, thank you to everybody who sent in their fan cams. But we'll see you tomorrow and everyone as well. Please join us for the TIFA watch long. If you are watching this early in the morning, we will be doing a Chelsea hate along for the Wolves game. So feel free to join us for that one. 
But we'll see you next time, everybody. Just Come on, you Spurs. And the big ants we trust. Yes, Dave. Finish them to off. Find the for just to find the details. To, if, if people doesn't know what TIFO is, check the community section. It's all there. And it'll uh, bring you over. All right. We'll see you next time, everybody. Have a good one. Come on, you Spurs.